What's going on, YouTube? And welcome back to Fireside Rangers. I'm your host, Eric Wilson. Today, joined by a special guest star, Colin Alcabes. Anthony's currently out of town on vacation, and there's some news to be covered. So had to call in some help from a fellow writer over at empiresportsmedia.com. Make sure to go check out Colin's articles. He just started writing. Great takes, great insight, and everything. But for the meantime, we're over here on Fireside Rangers. Before we get into it, make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss a notification. And we'll get right on into it. So we're deep in the middle of the offseason. Not much is happening. Alexi Lafreniere recently re-signed, pretty much closing the door on any offseason moves or acquisitions that the Rangers can really make. You know, they're really strapped for cap. But recently, according to NHL trade rumors, there is some talks that the Rangers might be involved in a potential trade with the Winnipeg Jets. And, you know, this trade involves some pretty big name players. So before we really get into it, Colin, how are you doing today? How are you feeling being here? I'm good. It's it's an honor to be here. I've watched the podcast for for uh, going on a year now, uh, way before I joined the team. But it's an honor to actually be here and, and talking with you guys. Perfect. We're happy to have you. And right now, before we break down this whole trade, what the whole package would include, let's talk about the big piece right here. And that comes in the form of Mark Shifley. You know, he's a guy 30 years old in his prime over on Winnipeg. And He's played pretty successful recently, you know, just last season in 2022, 2023. He played in 81 games, pretty much a full season right there. Notch 42 goals, 26 assists for 68 points. So, you know, you're looking at a guy who coming on to the Rangers potentially, playing alongside, you know, some great NHL players right there, could easily maintain that 60 points, maybe even elevate into 70 or 80 points with the Rangers. So if the Rangers were to go out there and make this trade happen, Colin, like where where do you see him fitting in? Like where where on the lineup, and who do you think he'd be playing with? I'm not sure. See, it would be tough because we're pretty deep all around. Uh, but I could probably picture him slotting in somewhere on the on the second line, playing with uh, the likes of Panarin and uh, whoever would be centering that second line, most likely Trocheck. You know that's fair, and like that is the big question when it comes to this possible trade is because. Mark Shifley is a center. The Rangers are pretty stacked on centers. You know, you have Mika Zibanejad at the number one, Vincent Trocek at number two, and then Philip Hedl at number three. So it kind of leaves a little bit of a question mark right there is who is he going to replace, you know, because you're not going to want to see a guy like Philip Hedl playing down on the fourth line. But then that's where we get into the potential return. You know, according to NHL trade rumors, Philip Hedl himself would be a part of that return deal. The full trade that they're speculating right now comes down to Shifley, and Vili Hainola for Philip Heal and Braden Schneider. Now we'll get into the defensive part in a minute, but just that that center swap right there, a fully established NHL superstar for a guy like Philip Heal, who the Rangers have been developing and has a very promising future with the Rangers. Do you, do you think that swap would be worth it, giving up potential success for someone who's going to come in on a one-year contract and you know maybe make some magic? So there's two ways to look at it. There's obviously the future, and then there's right now. Obviously the window is right now, and you if you were to get a guy like Shifley, you could presumably drop Chochek down to the third line, put Shifley on that second line. Blake Wheeler could play on that right wing. You got that old Winnipeg Jets connection. Not to mention Shifley's a great penalty killer. Him and Wheeler did that a lot in Winnipeg together, actually. They were they were the Winnipeg Jets' top pairing defensive killers. Like they killed the, the most time there. So they they have the clear chemistry. Um, but Heedle is just starting to break out at only 23 years old. You're looking at him putting up better numbers he doubled his numbers from the previous year after a very very uh very good conference finals against the lightning and the carolina hurricane i mean how could we forget um so you know personally i don't think i'd i'd be willing to do that just because hedel has shown so much promise and at such a young age i'm not really ready to give up on the kid yet I mean, that may, that makes complete sense. It really just comes down to the question of, like, what is Chris Jury willing to give up in order to make a cup happen this year? You know, you, know, um, you listen to all these off-season press conferences and interviews. Jury sounds like he's ready to make that run at the cup. He thought they had it last season. Obviously, that didn't happen, but that's in the past. We're moving on. <laughs> but, you know, like the same question kind of goes towards the other parts of this package as well. You know, outside of the centers, Vili Hainola for Braden Schneider. Right now, Braden Schneider is one of those guys, just like Philip Hedl, who for the last couple of years, the Rangers have been developing from within. The Rangers are pretty bad at developing players, but, you know, Philip Hedl and Braden Schneider are two of those like diamonds in the rough that somehow made it through. And the Rangers really care about this guy. You know, just last season, 
when the Sabres were shopping superstar Jack Eichel. Um, a part of that potential trade to the Rangers included Braden Schneider, and he ended up being the reason why the Rangers backed out. And then Eichel went on to help Vegas win a Stanley Cup. So with this like potential trade, do you, do you see the Rangers finally like moving from Schneider and like being like, all right, it might be time to trade him based on his like somewhat mediocre NHL performance so far? So it's funny enough, uh, Vinny Hanola was – supposed to be picked by the Rangers. So when the Rangers traded Kevin Hayes to the Jets, they got a first round pick and they were projected to take him at that pick. They ended up trading that first round pick back to the Winnipeg Jets for Jacob Truba, um, our captain now. Uh, personally, I don't think if they if Jack Eichel was tipping the scale to trade Braden Schneider, I don't think a guy like Mark Shifley and, and Billy uh, Hanola would, would do it either. You know, Hanola was picked uh, 20th overall in 2019, the Kako draft. And he's a good player, big body guy, six foot one. Left-handed defenseman, but I, I don't think that they're willing to move on from. They have Schneider. Schneider's good. You know, he does his job in, on the on that third pairing guy, and they're hoping he can move up uh, down the line. Um, so no, I don't think that it, if they're not willing to move uh, Schneider for Eichel, that this would be even feasible. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to agree with you there. Just for now, I would say at least. But I feel like at a certain point in time, the Rangers are gonna have to make like a final decision on Schneider. You know, he's been buried down on the third defensive pairing pretty much his entire career, and there's very little room for him to move up, you know, on that right side. You have Adam Fox, you have Jacob Truba. You're not going to see either of those guys playing down on the third pairing. And then at the same time, there's like that whole thing where um, Schneider hasn't really had the opportunity to break out either. You know, his defensive pairing on the left side has just been swapped in and out throughout his entire career. You know, he's played with Nico Mikola, Ben Harper, now he might be playing with either Zach Jones or Eric Gustafson. So who really knows what's going to happen with that? I, I think, though, within like the next season or two, the Rangers are going to have to make a decision where it's like, yes, they've been holding off for now, but maybe it might be better to cash in and get some at least some form of value for him before he just becomes like some washed defenseman that's just been trapped and getting zero minutes his entire career. So I don't know. I think for now I agree with you. Um, I wouldn't budge if I were Chris Jury, but – that's a question for maybe next year's off season. But, you know, I think the biggest thing is when you look at this possible trade from rumor right here, how does the money work out? You know, Mark Shifley is currently on a one-year contract, a one-year left. So after this season, if the Rangers were to acquire him, they'd have to go through the whole process of re-signing him. And we all know how fun that is based on seeing how Tarasenko and Kane went. But Shifley on that one-year deal is making $6.125 million per year, right? Now, Getting rid of Philip Heedle and Braden Schneider, that would clear up a little bit of cap right there. But it wouldn't exactly be enough, you know, given the Rangers' current cap situation. They're about 50000 over cap. So something is going to need to be adjusted. Um, I don't know if that's adjusting the trade or making a potential earlier trade beforehand. I know one trade that me and Anthony have talked about a little bit on this channel is possibly getting rid of Barkley Goudreau, right? Um, he's... Not bad. He's not the best. He's just a bottom six player. He's getting a little old, but he makes $3.6 million annually for the next couple of seasons. So, like, what are your thoughts on that? You know, just prepping for this potential big trade by making a smaller one beforehand, the clear cap. Would you get rid of Goudreau for that? Yeah. Uh, looking at Barkley Goudreau's deal, I wasn't exactly a fan of it when it was signed. Obviously, to get a player like that is big. You need great guys on teams like this and guys with pedigree. He's won cops, you know. He's been there in the deep playoff runs. You need that experience. But he got both term and um, average uh, annual value. I think he should have something should have been sacrificed. I think 3.6 is a lot for a bottom six guy, especially a guy who's most likely going to slot uh, slot in on that fourth line. If it was up to me, I'm putting Jimmy DC on that third line. Um, so, you know, that's a lot of money to pay for a fourth line guy. And I would be very open to moving him. But even still, would that be enough to tip the scales? You got – Shifley coming in at 6.125, uh, I believe you said. And that's not even counting uh, Vili Hinola, who's another 855000 on the books, too. And I don't think that Hedl and – if you were to move Hedl, Schneider, and Goudreau, that you could even make the money work. Cap would definitely have to be retained, which means you got to throw in more sweetener picks, and that's just hurting ourselves in the drafts in the years to come. So I don't know. I, I don't – it would it would take some, some more uh, – cap juggling by Drury, but he's a wizard when it comes to that. He did it with Kane. He did it with Tarasenko. So who knows what Drury's got in his back pocket. He's always he's always apt to make some moves. So you gotta gotta keep an eye on him at all times.
Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right with that. Chris Drury is a madman when it comes to making trades happen. If he wants a player, he's going to go out there and get it. I do have to like somewhat agree, though. Like, If this trade were to happen, despite all the rumors and everything, I definitely don't think it would happen until like later down the line in the season. Um, just right now, it's this is now not the time to going out there making blockbuster trades. I think the Rangers need to finalize their opening night roster first and then worry about it. But you know, just really quickly, like before we wrap things up, let's just say hypothetically, this trade package right here, Shifley and Hinola for Philip Heedle and Braden Schneider goes through right now. Ignore money, ignore everything. Do you see that as a win for the Rangers? Or do you think that's just them giving up their future for just like another like cup or bust? I think it's another it's another cup or bust type type move. I think you you have Heedle signed up to to a good contract. Schneider hasn't been bad in his own zone, and he started coming on offensively a little bit last year. Um, you know, I I think that it would it would not benefit us to trade for a guy like Mark Shifley, given his cap hit, given the the term on his contract. And our cap hit going forward. I know you said don't talk about money this year, so take money out of it this year. Next year, you still don't have the money to re-sign him. So it's yeah. another rental where you have to beg and hope that he comes back on a on a very friendly deal, like we're all like I'm hoping Kane will this year. But you know, it's it, it would it would take some some serious juggling and some some moves by Drury, and I don't think it would pay out at the end of the day. You know what? You, I think you said that perfectly. I'm happy I don't have to rebuttal you because I fully agree with all that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it'd be a whole confusing situation, you know, with the money. Um, fans would be angry. You know, we've developed Heedle for so long, but I don't know if, if it if it'll help the team win a Stanley Cup. Who knows what jury's going to do? But let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section. This trade package that we've just went over. Would you be happy if the Rangers did that? Would you be upset? Do you think it's even a realistic rumor that's going around? Make sure you let us know. And until next time, make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss a notification. Let us know what you thought of Colin on his first guest appearance. <laughs> and, you know, finally, just let's go Rangers. Yes, sir.